Hi guys. Okay, so we're down to the final um, pour of my white series and I'm hoping that it comes out like the others. I had run out of the house paint that I was using, so um, I had to go get some and I'm only praying that I mixed it up. I didn't even have a recipe the last time. I just threw a bunch of stuff in the paint pot with a bunch of Floetrol. So hopefully we have the same consistency. If not, thank goodness there's at least three. Um, and then again, I'm not even sure if uh, the third one is white enough <laughs> for me. So, but it's beautiful nonetheless. Uh, so I've already coated my canvas with white paint. I have my layering cup right here. And let's see, I want my, this little something right here and I'm not sure what it is, but I got it off. All right, so we're gonna start. Um, I need my cheat sheet. I wrote everything down. And we're not gonna have any anthraquinone blue in this decided I'm going to stick with just the Payne's Gray, the Bright Aqua Green, the DecoArts 24K, and the Metallic Sapphire by Ceramicoat. Um, the metallics here are mixed one-to-one -one with Floetrol, um, and I did add a little bit of water in each one so that the consistency comes right off the stick. This is Golden's Prussian, nope, sorry, this is Golden's Payne's Gray. Comes right off the stick as well. There's no mound, there's just very slight trace, and then it disappears. Um, this has about seven ounces of Floetrol to one ounce of the paint. And this is Liquitex Bright Aqua Green, and I added white to it to lighten it, and it's mixed two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And then I added the white. So we are going to put some white in my, okay, on my canvas too, I guess. I don't know how I messed that up. Um, I didn't wanna use that because I had some already poured out. I mixed everything in a big 32 ounce bucket or whatever this is. Uh, nope, sorry, uh, 64 ounce bucket. Um, so I had a ton of white for this. I have white left over. There's white in the bucket. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough white. And if I did, then at least I'd have some left over for an additional pour, maybe with different colors. So enough of me babbling. We're gonna do Payne's Gray. Gold aqua and then white. So then the metallic blue, Payne's gray and gold. some white. I'm going to do aqua and then gold, Payne's gray, and metallic blue. I'm gonna do white. Aqua. Payne's gray. That's all I did on there. But what I'm gonna do is add more white. Just gonna put the rest in this cup into the layered cup.
you some gold and metallic blue just to fill it up just a little more and I think that's it okay so we're gonna get these cups out of the way fingers crossed um, we really want <coughs> this to work Okay, so we are going to do a ring pour, but usually it starts off as my cup. So pretty. I'm not sure how this one is going to turn out. It's been a few days since I've poured. Took uh, Saturday off, Friday off. What I'm going to do is rotate it to stretch it out towards the edges. It doesn't matter which way you rotate it. If you're left-handed, you'll probably be going the other way. But I'm right-handed and I'm doing it counterclockwise. on the floor yeah. why not would it be a day of painting if I had it all right so I'm gonna give it a bit of a torch in here I did just mix up my paint so I do have an air bubble situation on hand so I have to try to pop them as I stretch the paint come down here and then go that way I think
certainly a pretty piece. I'm really liking it. It has a nice beach vibe to it. So what I'm going to do is take my gloves off. Before I muck it up. I'm going to bring you guys in in just a moment. this is settling the prettier it is I'm like really liking this one Okay, guys. All right, we're coming in. Okay, guys, here it is. Just brought you guys down from above, and I'm loving the bright aqua green with the Payne's gray in here. And the gold is mixing beautifully. There's a shimmer across the whole piece. There's a bit less gold in this one. But I love the subtle hints of it, especially in the center, and then bits as it moves outwards. Love this area, and I'm loving over here. The Payne's Gray next to the Aqua is just amazing. All right, guys, well, this is the final of the four in the series. All my art is for sale. Feel free contacting me uh, for inquiries through my social media links in the description box. And what else? I have a PayPal me link if you'd like to make a donation to my cause of bringing beautiful art to viewers like you. I appreciate all that have donated and um, your wonderful comments. And if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any pieces that I do. Have a great day, guys. Bye.